And here is the MC. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bowling ground here in Acton Park, London, the home of West Ham United. Frank Warren, in association with West Ham United, frankwarren.tv, and sponsored by Rain and Steel and Queensbury Boxing, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the heavyweight championship of Great Britain, live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD. Your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Richie Davies of All Hallows in Kent, Mr. Ian John Lewis of Gillingham in Kent, Mr. Dave Paris of Leeds. Your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge is Mr. Phil Lundgren. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Howard Foster of Doncaster. Your timekeeper at the bell is Bob Edgeworth. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in 17 stone 6 pounds. He brings with him an unbeaten 12 fight record with 7 KOs. Please welcome, wearing the Union Jack shorts, hailing from Finchley here in London, the challenger for the title. Please welcome Derek Chisora. And Dossery is the British champion fighting out of the red corner. He brings with him a record of 41 wins from 50 contests with 31 of those wins coming by knockout. A former two-time British champion and a European and world title challenger. In 2004, he shook the boxing role by knocking out the legendary Iron Mike Tyson. In his third reign as British champion, please welcome, weighing in 19 stone, seven pounds, wearing the black and white shorts from Brixton in London, the reigning and defending heavyweight champion of Great Britain, Danny Williams. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay lads, spoke to you both in the dressing room, you both know what I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told, and both of you watch your heads. Good luck to you both, touch gloves. Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three minute rounds for the British Heavyweight Championship. Six years since you beat Mike Tyson. Danny Williams finally bows out of boxing with this defence of his British title against Derek Chisora. Williams has said Chisora is an easier opponent than Sam Sexton. He says he'll come to him. Williams says he fancies a tear up. Chisora, at the press conference, he said the emphasis would be on speed, staying away from Williams for the first couple of rounds and then trying to take control. Joined ringside by Colin Hart. Good evening, Colin. Good evening, Ian. How do you see this one going? Well, on the evidence of Williams' last fight, in um, when he got he lost on points over three rounds to Carl Baker, you must give Chisora uh, a very good chance of winning this title. You know, we've often felt that uh, Danny Williams has been shot for a long while, and uh, tonight we'll find out for sure. On paper, you look at the two records, there should be one winner, and that should be Williams. After all, he's got 30-odd knockouts in a 50-fight career and fought at the highest level. Uh, but I'm afraid that uh, age has caught up with him and a long career has caught. He's been boxing for 15 years as a pro, and that is a long time. He's lost two of his last four fights. Danny Williams against opponents he would have put to sleep early in his career. Carl Baker, he was awful against Derek Chisora when he boxed him at Wembley. Now Chisora just hurts Williams there with a left hand, forces Williams to hold on. He also lost to Albert Sosnowski, who's going on to fight for a world title. Referee Howard Foster just giving Williams a little telling off there for putting Chisora on. Williams was awful against uh, Sosnowski and Baker. 
couple of wins over John McDermott in British title fights recently. John McDermott, probably no world beater. Oh, now Chisora just catches Williams with a sneaky left hand. He's full of ambition, Chisora. He really fancies himself as being a future world champion. And he's got Williams trapped in a corner here. Too much clean at the moment. Don't hold him up. Don't hold him up. Just rides out the storm. He's certainly full of confidence, Chisora, taking the fight to Williams. He really fancies it, obviously. He's got a big weight of uh, advantage, Danny Williams. I mean, Chisora's going to be quicker, two stone lighter. That's about the same height. And of course, Williams, having already announced this is his last fight, has obviously got no ambition left. He wants to be a bodyguard to the stars in future. I suppose the ambition, Colin, is to go out on a high. Well, yes, one would think or thought so, but and I'm always wary when fighters announce that this is going to be their last fight. Um, There's very few fighters who get to choose when they go out. Chisora ends the first round on top. And he was looking a little bereft of ideas. He trained pretty much on his own for this one. He had a couple of sessions with Jimmy McDonald. McDonald's not in his corner this evening. He's we've got James DeGale on next. Williams when literally I, trains alone, Colin. Yeah, and what I noticed that when Williams came into the ring, he wasn't wearing a robe and he looked like he was dry. In other words, he hasn't warmed up very much. And uh, it is quite chilly now. The sun has gone in. It's still uh, daylight, but uh, nevertheless, there's a chill in the air. And uh, there was no perspiration on uh, Williams at all. Some pictures here of Michael Cassidis arriving before the main event this evening. Very, very confident. He doesn't exactly look full of nerves either. No, does he? very confident character. Cassidis, much like Derek Chisora, who's in action here at Upton Park. He took that first round against Danny Williams. Chisora, of course, already holds a win over Commonwealth champion Sam Sexton, a stoppage victory. And that would be the obvious rematch, wouldn't it, Colin? Oh, yes, I mean, came through this evening. absolutely, because Sexton is the Commonwealth champion, is he not? He is. And therefore, there'll be a unification fight, and it will be a big draw. Which is all, just catches Williams there, high on the head with the right hand. Something special about a heavyweight title fight. Tajoa's so got a, a bruise under his left eye. Williams has two. Williams had that bruise, in fact, before he came into the ring. A good uppercut there from Chisora, and left hand, rocks Williams back. Williams is rocking, I'm afraid. He got His caught. legs are very unsteady. He got caught with a very good left hook. Williams almost needs to take a knee here. Oh, fighting with a left hand from Derek Chisora. He's in trouble here, Danny Williams. Howard Foster's can't reach his seven. He's going to get the chance to box, and he's hardly throwing a punch, Williams. He said he was going to go out on a high, on his shield. He's going out on his shield as a losing boxer at the moment. He's got a minute and a half of this round to try and survive as well. Oh, now he's gone. He's through the ropes, and Howard Foster says it's all over. It's the end for Danny Williams, but it's a new beginning for Derek Chisora who becomes the British heavyweight champion with a second round knockout. Leaps onto the ropes. But what a sad way to go out for Danny Williams. Colin Hart. Yes, in fact, one of my uh, television colleagues at ringside turned around to me just now and said that very word that you've just uh, spoken, sad. Very sad to see a fighter like Williams, who is completely shot, go out to a virtually a novice. Let's face it, a man who's only had... 12 fights uh, in world terms he's a novice heavyweight and uh, poor Danny we knew he had nothing left Chisora knew he had nothing left and he more or less jumped on him right from the opening bell and now of course we can look forward as you were saying before to a unification fight with Sexton which would be meaningful and uh, a very competitive fight but poor Danny he will now go off the boxing scene 
he's been a great servant to the sport he's a lovely guy um, but unfortunately he's a bit quirky as you as we know you never quite knew what Danny Williams which Danny Williams was going to turn up on the night sometimes he didn't even turn up didn't turn up for press conferences very moody but a very nice man and as I say He's done this sport proud over the years, and it was sad to see him go out. I suppose so the, only, the only thing we can say, Colin, I remember some of, uh, I don't remember them, but obviously Muhammad Ali's late fights, and he took beatings in those fights, didn't he? And at least Danny Williams was knocked out quickly in this one. Well, yes, I suppose, but, yes, but Danny Williams has taken his share of beatings yep. before, uh, before he got to this uh, final fight of his career. It's, uh, no, it is a shame. But um, let's talk about Derek Chisora. Plenty of promise for the future and a good finisher here. We're just seeing the stoppage. Again, he had Williams down twice in that second round. And it was impressive stuff from Tizora. You can only beat the man that's put in front of you and he did exactly that tonight, didn't he, Colin? Oh, yes, he did the business. He did what he was uh, supposed to do and that was to knock out uh, the champion. And you can't ask for more than that. But he's, if he thinks that uh, he's going to have it this easy down the road, I'm sure he doesn't think that. He's got, you know, you'll find out that the heavyweight division can be a little more, shall we say, hurtful than that was tonight. Well, it'll be in a, in a tougher one if he gets Sexton. Sexton's Ladies improved a lot since he fought his right. Here's the official 41 result. 41 seconds of round two. Your referee, Howard Foster, has stopped the contest. He deemed that Danny Williams was in no position to continue. The winner in the blue corner from Finchley and the new British heavyweight champion from Finchley, Derek Chisora. Well, sweet music to the ears of Derek Chisora. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the gallant Danny Williams. Who now has the Lonsdale belt wrapped around his waist. He goes by the name of Del Boy, Derek Chisora, but he was no plonker this evening in destroying Danny Williams in two rounds to lift the British heavyweight title here at Upton Park West Ham. Derek Chisora, congratulations, British heavyweight champion. How does it feel? Feels good, man. No. I'm excited, I'm British now. Heavyweight champion. Feels good, but there's more to come. We thought that Danny might be dangerous tonight. You said you were expecting the best of him, but it didn't turn out that way this evening. Yeah, you know, he caught me with very, very lovely. Got me, he caught me with a body shot and he caught me with a very straight jab, which I walked into. And I was like, yeah, he's got power. But when I felt his power, he didn't shake me at all, so I started going for him. And you must have been pleased with the way that you finished the fight as well. Yeah, you know, I'm the kind of guy when I got the opponent hurt, I, I attacked straight away, so I knew I had him anyway. And Derek, very quickly, we'll let you go off in a minute. What's next? Sam Sexton with a Commonwealth title or Tyson Fury, John McDermott? Whoever wants it can have it, man. You're not, you're not bothered about no, I'm you not fight. bothered, man. I'm a, I'm a true athlete. I train. Whoever wants it can have it. And there are some great fights to mess with, aren't they? Maybe that Sexton fight would be a, would be a cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever wants it can have it. Derek, we'll let you go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.